What is up, Priest Planet? It is a Tarot Priest. I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. In today's Pick a Card reading, I'm gonna be really channeling messages from your higher self and your future self. So this video is gonna be pretty deep. I'm gonna warn you now, as these are messages that you guys currently need to hear right now in the present moment that you guys are in. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome to Priest Planet, where we embrace love, freedom, happiness, and most importantly, truth. As most of my viewers already know, I do keep it real on this channel. So I will not hold back the truth from you because I do believe that the truth will set you free. Also, shout out to the Planets Notification Gang. Every single time I drop a video, you guys are the first to comment, like, and share. So thank you guys for being so supportive and being at the top of my list for comments. I always try to get back and respond to as many comments as I can. But I do want to thank you guys. For those of you who are new, welcome to the planet. If you guys would like to book a personal reading with me or learn more about my online courses, which will be starting in November. So yes, classes do start in November of 2019. I'm only going to be taking a selective few. So if you guys are interested, don't forget to sign up on the waiting list in the description box below. Also, for those of you who have booked personal sessions with me, again, thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your journey. I feel like my personal readings are a little bit different than most people who are doing one-on-ones because I'm not just going to be looking at the energy, but I will be also guiding you guys. So I feel like today's video is similar to most of the personal readings that I do. I don't just look at the energy and give you guys answers. I'm really here to give you guys spiritual guidance and clarity too. I have four different pyramids here that are different colors. So choose the deck and the stone or the pyramid that you feel like is pulling you. So I have deck number one, the yellow stone, deck number two, the blue stone, deck number three, the green stone, and deck number four, the purple stone. All right, let's hop into today's video. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and what does your future self or spiritual self want to share with you or tell you? All right. First off the bat, we have ground yourself. When you detach from awareness of your body and the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon the earth. We're helping you balance the material and spiritual so that you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life. So for you guys, this is, it seems to me like you may have discovered spirituality and working on a balance. So already off the bat, I can feel that your higher self is saying, to ground yourself, but to keep a, it's very complicated to ground yourself when you're very spiritual because there's still three dimensional laws, such as the five senses and things that are um, physical that you guys have to deal with, but then there's the spiritual. So this is about keeping a balance. Let's see what else we have. Believe and succeed. Love abounds. Spread your wings. Enjoy. Let's see what else we have. Energy work. I'm also feeling that for you guys that have chosen the yellow pyramid, that you are on a journey of discovering purpose. So if things have been out of whack, it is to get you to reconnect with your spiritual guides so that you can know how to make the best decision. So I feel as though you guys have a lot of success on your life. And right now, if you guys are going through a tough time, I am hearing that it will turn around, but it is for the purpose of you reawakening to your purpose, spreading your wings, love abounds, believe and succeed and also energy work. So with energy work, we have life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. So I will say with the love abounds, this tells me that you guys, again, like I said, are opening up to your purpose and discovering love and joy, true love and true joy. Let's see what else we have so I can get into it more. Giving and receiving, yes. So you guys are awakening to your purpose. That's why things have been so complicated. Or you feel as though some of you may feel that you don't recognize your life or you don't recognize yourself or even some of the desires that you have. And that's because source, whatever you believe in, your higher self is trying to redirect you to a place of joy so that you can, um, so that you can be open to 
receiving your purpose. So sometimes things will fall apart. So it looks as if also that you guys might find it difficult to balance yourself as far as living and being spiritual. And that's also what your higher self is here to do is to teach you how to have a balance of your spiritual gifts. And if you guys are not aware of your spiritual gifts, this is what your higher self is saying. Your higher self is trying to magnify and project what it is that you are meant to do. So you guys will be focusing a lot on energy work and spreading your wings, believing in succeeding. So you guys are also meant to be very prosperous, giving and succeeding. All right, let's see what else we have. Sacral chakra. Now the sacral chakra is all about sexual energy, but it's about creativity. Um, as we know, sex creates humans. And so it's the same thing with fertility and even with the Empress card and sacral or sacral chakra, the sacral chakra. Um, it's all about the sexual energies and the creative energy. So right now your higher self is trying to get you guys to create more and, and do energy work. So creating and rebirthing new ideas is also the journey that you guys are meant to be on. In order to do that, again, there has to be some type of grounding. Um, joy, I haven't really touched on that, but I'm going to based on your guys' experience. So let's get into the tarot. Emperor in reverse. This is also saying that you who have chosen the yellow pyramid has to be a lot more confident in being a leader. You're not meant to be a follower. And I feel like there's some fears that are stopping you, some limitations and some fears that are stopping you. And also block, being blocked with not being joyful. So if you guys, again, have been going through a tough time or a tough period right now, it is because there is a level of joy that you are to reach. And the highest way to reach joy on the energy pyramid is to be grateful, to have gratitude. So I feel like you guys are also learning that right now. But with the emperor, this tells me that you guys are not really in control of the things that are happening right now. And it's your higher self is saying to be more of a leader, to make more empowered decisions and to not wait for someone to give you direction, but to take direction on your own. Also manifesting and creating your own reality with the emperor. This is someone who's very driven, very passionate. So if there are some dreams and some desires that you guys have, even if it's relationship desires, it's about manifesting and energy work. So you guys can create your creators with the sacral chakra too. This tells me that you guys are highly creative and to start doing more of your creative, using more of your creative attributes to fertilize more ideas. Yeah, the two of swords. Also, I'm hearing that there has been some tough times making decisions or figuring out which direction you guys should take. The answer is to follow your inspiration, follow your excitement, follow what leads you to your desires. Six of cups. Some of you guys could have children for a very few of you. You're worried about that. And also some of you could be worried about having children. So if some of you are wondering if you will have children, you will give birth and have children. That's just a confirmation for a few of you guys. I have been getting a lot of readings regarding that. So I just want to make sure that I'm touching on every energy that's choosing the pyramid of yellow. Six of cups too tells me that there's some past life and past memories, but also what I'm hearing for you guys is not to take life so serious, not to overthink things, overanalyze things, but to be, see more of the world from a childlike perspective, being more adventurous, going after what it is that you truly want to go after, even with the spreading your wings. So you guys are reawakening to your purpose of energy work, learning how to give and receive also understanding that as you give to others, you are receiving as well because we're all connected. So as I'm giving to you and I'm coaching you guys and helping you, I'm also helping myself because we're all connected. As I raise the frequency for you guys, you raise the frequency for me. So it is law of attraction, but also a domino effect. So frequency and energy is also what you guys are going to be learning is energy work, but how to be joyful and prosperous in what it is that you are doing. So you guys could have healing abilities that your higher self is trying to wake you up to. But for the most part, I feel as if your higher self is saying there is energy work, there is creative work um, that you're going to love to do, but you have to believe in it. And once you believe in it and actually take flight and spread your wings, you will succeed. Trust your path. Yeah. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? 
I love that card. Wow. Okay, so this is also about freedom for you guys. Some of you have dreams, desires, wanting to do things, but again, like I said, you have limited perspective and limited beliefs and fears that are holding you back. Basically, what your higher self is saying is your higher self and future self. Your future self is already in the future, coming back to relay messages to you. So your future self is coming from a place of basically imagine the finish line. They're at the finish line and they're like, come on, come on, but you're blindfolded. Right. And you're just like, OK, I hear that you're here. You want me to move forward. But how do I do that? Because I don't know if I take a next step, if there's a cliff and I'll fall. Basically, what your future self is saying is I'm already at the finish line of your path. But if you knew you were supported and the path was clear, if you knew it again, this this comes from a place of relying on your intuition of knowing. And rather than logically assuming that if I jump, I will fall. And this is with anything. If you take flight or you jump towards your dreams, will you fall? It's about being afraid of the unknown, fear of the unknown. What will happen if I jump? Will I make it? Will I land? Will I be prosperous? These are questions that you guys are having, even with your purpose and your higher self is saying, come on, I'm here. You're guided and supported. So this is also about strengthening your trust with source. And, and your intuition that is coming from your future self or higher self. So it's also about learning more. So I feel like developing a relationship with your future self will develop trust. That's how we develop trust is we have a relationship. So trust your path. Your path is already made. It's just about you spreading your wings. Even with this card, there's a path to light. Okay. So really good messages for you guys. Trust the Nigel. What is Ningling feeling trying to tell you? Or trust the Ningle. Never heard of it. But what my intuition is also saying is these are your guides, your spirit guides. And it seems to me with the trust, it's more of connecting with your intuition and trusting in something. A lot of you guys have been rejected a lot whether it's jobs, careers, thinking you found your purpose, realizing it's not, all of these hardships you have to release because it has created some trust issues is what I'm hearing. So you're blocked with trusting. And of course, trusting your higher self, you know, you can't see your higher self. So you're relying solely on another sense. So this is also trusting your guides as much as it is trusting the path and your intuition. So trust seems to be a big factor for you guys. How do you build trust? Again, like I said, build the relationship and the rapport with your higher self. It's time to release negativity. Like I said, you guys have some blockages and some things that have happened in the past and people who have either rejected you, uh, betrayed you, lied to you, or uh, slammed the door in your face. These things that have happened in the past need to be released. Releasing negativity seems to be mostly from your past. And then also just like I'm hearing you guys have dreams and, and inspirations and goals to do things that are great. And people around you are like, well, how are you going to do that? Like, how are you going to get the money to do that? That negativity needs to be gone. Like that is not going to get you anywhere. We're reproducing in that energy. If you guys are living with someone who's negative, if you have friends around you that are negative or have negative perspective, they're absolutely free to be negative. However, also releasing that negativity, understanding that people can sometimes be seasonal and it might be the people closest to you that don't believe in you. However, what I hear source saying is release it because it, you're not in a place to be around so much negativity and it not affect you. And so right now it is time to release that negativity. What do you need to release? Again, more releasing things from the past. What do you need to release? I'm hearing fears, doubts, limitations, beliefs that no longer serve you. These are things, believing that you're not a leader, believing that you're not equipped and that you don't have the expertise or knowledge to lead. Believing that you can live a life of happiness and have stability, joy and stability. This seems to be also something that you need to balance yourself in with joy. Joy is the highest energy of all. It's the magical sense that everything is possible. Joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at their highest possible levels. So whatever you need to release that is not making you happy, it's source higher self is saying, release these things. 
They're no longer serving you. And sometimes it's that best friend that grew up with you from sixth grade that has to go because you guys are elevating and evolving and they're kind of just staying stagnant. So that's also a message for you. Limiting beliefs, doubts, all that. We have one more tarot, five of swords, yes. Unnecessary adversity. Whether it's that relationship, that friendship, that job, that environment, it's negative. It's creating defensive mechanisms of you having to protect yourself. And the more that you feel like you have to protect yourself, the less that you are going to trust in your higher self. All right, let's see what else we have here. I am successful in all that I do. Again, you are meant to be a king of wands, whether you're a woman or a male, you are meant to be a leader. You are meant to be successful. That's the second time we have success. I'll put this here as far as you being a leader. Also, wands represent creative energy, flow, new projects, passion, desires. So whatever it is that you're passionate about, again, this is about taking leadership, taking action towards what it is that you want to do. The world card, traveling. I felt that so heavily. I celebrate life and welcome new energy. So you guys are getting ready to create a new cycle and a new life for yourself, which is beautiful. Um, but it's about celebrating life and being happy and also releasing things will make you feel better. I feel like it's going to relieve some burdens and some unnecessary stress that you didn't know was weighing on you. The world card, again, is about traveling movement. So if you guys do with the spread your wings, we know wings mean flying, the same thing as planes, you know, these things. This can also mean that if you guys have traveling desires to start investing in those aspirations. It's like I tell a lot of the people that I coach, if you guys are single, and even if you're not single and you don't have children, especially if you don't have children and you're kind of just working any job for stability, why not be in the country or why not travel the world and be excited about working in the environment that you're at? You know, these are things that you guys should be thinking about because you have nothing to lose. Even if you do have children, having the courage to get up and I know it's just it's harder with children because you know you have school you have more worries and doubts and limitations but if you have no children you're single there's no excuse you guys can be traveling living in any country working the job that you're working now just think about that and at least you will be in an environment that inspires you and excites you and if you do have children same thing there is no limitations it's based on what you believe in so if you have you have nothing holding you back from your dreams. The higher font. So we already have a lot of major arcana. The higher font is also about beliefs, rules, religion, society, peer pressure. The higher font is about I am ready to learn and love. New thoughts, new beliefs, questioning. Do you believe these things because you believe them or did somebody teach you them at a young age and you kind of adopted them? So source is saying to start questioning the things that you believe because they can also be holding you back. Nine of Wands. I am strong for as long as I need to be strong. So you guys have been through a lot. There is a breakthrough. With the Nine of Wands, this is about the wounded warrior. So much effort and time, and it's like, some of you are questioning, what have I been doing for the past decade? I've been doing this for so long, I'm tired. I'm tired. And that's what I'm hearing is like, I'm wounded, I'm tired, this, that, like I'm not, I need to find a place of happiness and a place of positive energy. So I am seeing that there is a breakthrough for you guys. It's just, the more you stay in this situation, the more you stay, the more your higher self, this is what I'm hearing, is going to make it uncomfortable for you to move so that you can jump. You know, sometimes we have to get a push that's what your higher self is saying. Like, I'm giving you the opportunity to take a leap of faith and follow your dreams so you can be happy. I'm saying, if you do this, you'll be happy, but you have so many doubts holding you back. So your world is going to start shaking up again. High Priestess, another major arcana. So you guys could have psychic abilities, but this is my intuition guides me to truth. Truth, intuition. These are two big words that I really keep hearing and success for you guys. So... If you guys need clarity or you feel as though you're not sure what to do, it is because you are disconnected from source, 
disconnected from higher self. The high priestess calls you to tap into your intuition and trust. So this is all about trusting and connecting. And I'm also hearing that if you guys did choose this pyramid, this the yellow pyramid, it was supposed to divinely guide you to this reading to tell you that your higher self has been trying to communicate with you through uh, 5D communication because again, higher self is not of the 3D. So your higher self is not gonna knock on your door and say, hey, I just wanted you to know that this is happening and I need you to get it together. No, your higher self is going to uh, create emotions that make you feel sad. It's like playing hot and cold. Oh, this makes me feel good. I should keep doing this. So your higher self is gonna communicate through inspiration, excitement, that creative or that fire that just makes you so happy and joy through joy. So your higher self is saying basically that I've been trying to communicate with you. So luckily you found this video and you chose this deck. And basically it's just like a pit stop to saying, hey, get back on track, still keep a communication with me. Um, I'm here, I'm waiting for you to communicate. The crane bag, sacred ocean, medicine, clutter, declutter, and choice. Decluttering is also, you know, with the crane bag, this is about cleaning up the ocean. Cleaning up your emotions is also uh, what it could be. You guys could be a water sign. I don't think I have much, um, I have Taurus here too. You guys could be a Taurus. Uh, for the most part, it doesn't matter. But if, if you are a Taurus or you are a water sign, then this is definitely for you. If not, it's still for you if it resonates. Now, as far as the declutter, this is about, again, releasing negative energy, releasing negative beliefs, negative limitations. So I'm not going to get too, too much carried away because I can literally talk about this for the next 30 minutes. But I just want you guys to know that your higher self is communicating with you, wants you to take the leap of faith, wants you to get excited about your future. So if you haven't been excited, it's because you are not in the right place and your higher self is trying to guide you based on the things that make you happy. So if you guys chose deck number one or the yellow pyramid, this is your reading. Don't forget to comment down below so that I can get some comments of encouragement back to you guys. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to move on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose the blue deck, this is your reading and messages from your future self or higher self. Let's see what messages your higher self or future self has to tell you guys. All right, let's start with this creative project your soul longs to express itself in creative ways we're guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity into your life creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion toward your life let's see what else we have going on here ace of wands so yeah you guys are on a spiritual path of creativity so a lot of you guys might be getting ideas or passions or dreams we have the ace of wands which is a new beginning or a new start to something creative and something that you're passionate about it says i am inspired to follow my passion six of pinnacles whatever it is that you guys are going to be doing you will be making money doing it but also it's almost as if the work that you have to give other people they're grateful for it and they want to bless you for it in return so whatever this creative pro project is it will be an equal give and take with the six of pentacles you understand that as you give yourself uh in the creative project you will also be doing universal good so you will receive abundance and money from that whatever this creative project is for you guys who have chosen the blue this seems to be more about financial success stability and creative projects is what i'm hearing we also have the ace of pentacles so the Ace of Pentacles is I am always rewarded for what I do. This is a new start in a creative project is what I'm hearing. And then also a new beginning in financial stability with the Aces. So we have new beginnings for you guys right off the bat. Judgment. So you guys could be going through a spiritual journey. As far as the judgment card is concerned, this is all about a spiritual awakening and a time of compassion. So I look back for compassion for myself. If there are some things that you guys wanted to move forward with, even if it's a creative project or something that you guys built that didn't work out, it's about learning and understanding that you're on the right path. A lot of you guys are questioning if you're on the right path. The right path would be to follow and express yourself creatively. Creatively, If you're in a place right now, in a workplace, if you're even in a relationship that does not allow you to create 
or express yourself in a creative way. Um, this may not be for you. Again, I'm still reading and seeing what else is here for you guys. So emotions are running high. Let's see what else is going on. See why emotions are running high. Ten of Wands, you have a lot going on. Some of you are stressed. So the last thing you may be thinking about is how to create or create a project that is going to bring in money. A lot of you are stressed, overwhelmed, overworked, and struggling in relationships or depressed, dealing with anxiety. I'm just reading based on some of the things that I do see. Emotions are running high. So yeah, you guys have a lot going on. And if you guys are worried about financial stability, I do hear higher self saying that. I don't think that you've sat down and come up with a creative project for, for some of you guys. And we're like, you know, I'm gonna start this project. I'm gonna make a lot of money. I'm gonna do this. I feel as though what creative, what uh, higher self is telling you guys is that there is something that you know how to do that will bring in financial stability or abundance that you may be overlooking. So it is a creative project or something that ignites your passion towards your life. A creative project could be planning a trip to another place or another destination. Some of you are stuck in the matrix. You're stuck in the system and you're trying to get out of the system, trying to be free, trying to be happy. Um, you could have lost someone. Some of you guys are dealing with losing people to death, also losing people in relationships, losing friends, overwhelmed, overworked. Uh, and I just feel as though heavily that what your guides are saying to you right now is that there's something that you know how to do or you're getting ready to learn how to do that is that something that you're passionate about that's creative that you're also going to be very stable with and you'll make a lot of money doing so. Some of you guys are just waking up doing the same thing every day. And it, that's why I say with the Matrix and the Groundhog Day is that you're doing the same thing every day. And this is telling me that you're going through a spiritual awakening. If it is uncomfortable right now in your life, it is for the reason of getting you to take that leap of faith or jump is what I'm also hearing for you guys. So <laughs> if you guys are waking up and you're not inspired or you're not excited, if you're not excited, and I know this is going to sound crazy. If you're not excited to pay bills at the current house that you're at, or you're not inspired to pay bills on the car that you have, it is because it is not your car and it is not your house. Now, if you were living in your dream home, I'm sure you'd be more inspired to pay the bills or more excited to give your money away to the bills or your dream car or a car that you really love. What I'm saying is start investing in things that truly make you happy and inspired. You know, when I, if I'm making a payment on a car or a home, I want this to be the best house. I want this to be the best car. It may not be my dream car, but I want to feel damn good when I'm in it, if I'm going to be paying for it. And so what I'm hearing your higher self say is these things that are, you're, you're overworked and you're unhappy, but it's also because you're not inspired. You're not really doing much of what you love. If you guys are working so hard and you're not celebrating the success, then what are you working for? And what I'm hearing higher self say to you guys is, Life was never intended to be about just paying bills and being here. You guys have a purpose and life is about an experience. And part of that experience is reigniting your passion, doing the things that you love to do. So it, this is telling me that you guys need to do things that you're more excited about and inspired to do. Yeah, the King of Wands, taking leadership in things that you guys love, passion, passion projects, passion projects. This is traveling shopping, whatever inspires you, do it. Now, I'm not condoning habitual behaviors and codependencies on shopping or things that you feel excite you but are bad for you. I'm saying if you have exciting things that you wanna do, more money will come to you because you're in a better place of receiving it. A lot of people don't understand that. And for you, most importantly, I feel as though, I don't really get relationship vibes, but I know you guys, love to hear about the love situation for you. It's more about success, happiness, and prosperity and growth for you. But what I'm feeling heavily is to find a place to be happy, to have joy, and to have stability. That's the goal here. And to go after the things that inspire you and excite you 
And also what I was saying with, with the abundance is that if you guys are worried about abundance or if you guys are worried about money, your higher self is saying that the soil that you plant seeds in cannot be hard. And so with the soil, which is energy, if you have bad energy or negative energy or a poverty mindset or, you know, any of that energy around money or abundance, it'll be very hard to plant the seed and allow it to grow. If you're happy, if you're joyful, you're grateful, you're inspired, the soil is much easier to break through for abundance, to receive abundance. All right, enough life coaching. The moon card is here. So there's some things that you are not aware of that the light is shining. Some, again, it could be a creative project. It could be passions, desires that you didn't think you have that you do have. But also what I'm getting with the moon card, I'm hearing that there are some gifts and some things that you don't know that you're capable of doing right now. You're in a teaching mode uh, with the three of pentacles. You're learning more, more about your gifts. Third eye chakra. Opening up your third eye, your third eye is all about spiritual intuition, expanding consciousness and intuition. So with your spiritual eye, it's located right here between your two brows. Uh, this spiritual eye, also known as a penile gland, it needs to be decalcified. I think that's how you say it. Open, expanding. Okay, there are tons of videos on deca decalcifying your third eye. Now with that, it means opening up your third eye. Okay, so there are things that will block your third eye and block your intuition. This creative project, these desires are not going to be analytically brought to you. They will be brought to you through spirit and higher self, which is why you guys chose deck number two. So I can get you guys the message because you are blocked from hearing it on your own teaching. So yes, you guys are learning right now. I feel like you guys are the student. The student becomes the teacher. That's also what I hear for you guys with the three of pentacles and the teach card. You guys are learning throat chakra. Yes, you guys are probably teachers and educators or whatever it is that you do. You're very good at it. Again, with the moon card, you guys could be a Pisces. You don't have to be, but this tells me that these are gifts that you are probably not aware of just yet, but you're going to learn them and you're in the process of learning them, opening up your third eye and receiving communication so that you know exactly what to do. And again, that's what I'm here for. So with the throat chakra, opening up more, communicating more about things that you want, things that you want to do. Also, I'm hearing to that words are manifestation. So words become things, words become um, projects, words become manifestations, okay? You create with words as well. And third, uh, the throat chakra and the third eye chakra are two that you need to heavily pay attention to. Feeling alone. So now we're getting into the relationship stuff. You guys could be single or on and off. I see that with the two of cups here or questioning if you're gonna find the right person. I do feel as though right now you're in a time of sanctuary to discover your own personal happiness. You may be feeling alone, but if you are feeling alone for you guys, this is also because you are not connected. You are never alone. Being alone or alone in general, that word is an illusion. It's only if you believe it. Your guides are always with you. Your intuition is always with you. Plus my YouTube channel is always with you. So you're never alone. Lead, so you are meant to be a leader, a teacher, uh, you have a profound gift on your life too. I think that you're discovering that. Definitely discovering that. The full card. I am guided and protected on my life journey. It did come out in reverse. This tells me that you guys have some fears. You have some fears about opening up. Again, opening up to anything, anyone or anything. And that's due to the, some things that have happened in the past. Again, Understanding that you're guided and always protected. This comes from a place of intuition and connecting. You will also, it's so crazy because what I'm getting with this card, the fool, is the fool oftentimes eyes are closed and they're walking on this journey, they're walking on this path. But the reason why their eyes are closed is because they rely solely on their intuition and that's your third eye. So I feel as though heavily for deck number two, the blue deck, blue pyramid, that this video is also for you guys to unlock the door because your spiritual guides, your future self, your higher self is here knocking at the door and wanting you to open. So in order to see the path, you have to use your spiritual eye, not your physical eye, because we all know the physical eye could be very misleading. We see things and often assume things. We see things and often have deception or blind spots. You know, our eyes, our ears, we have blind spots. 
We're not going to see everything, all the ultraviolet lights bouncing off the room. We don't see everything. We don't hear everything. That's why we rely on the third eye. Warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling? You guys are on a mission right now. Judgment, it's time to wake up. The alarm clock is going off. Mintanka, longing for home, belonging. The original light workers. You guys are finding home. You're on your way. Some of you guys too, I'm hearing that your twin flame, you're gonna come into union with your twin flame as well. So if some of you guys were looking for that message, there is that message. You will be coming into twin flame. For the purpose of light working, twin flames come together for the purpose of light working. So most of you guys will realize as you get closer to your purpose, you will become closer to your twin flame, your union and your reunion. Star seed, what lights you up? What lights you up? Wow, I love that. What lights you up? This is your guys' is if it's depression and if it's anxiety, if it's loss, if it's sadness, if it's loneliness that you guys are dealing with, it is because you are not doing what you love to do. You are not living the life that was meant for you. It's like you're trapped in someone else's life. That's the matrix. Okay? So you have all of this great stuff waiting for you after you take a leap of faith and after you deal with these things. This is what your higher self is saying. You guys had two messages. You have homeland. Again, home. You guys are finding home where you're supposed to be. Like I said, your life, if you're depressed, if, if you're any of those things that, that I just mentioned, it is because you're. it's almost like being in the wrong house. You're in the wrong home. You're in the wrong life. Okay? How do you direct yourself back? It is about opening up your third eye so you can be guided, learning. Uh, homeland, again, for some of you guys, twin flame reunion. This is a sign that you guys are coming back together. Arrival, a journey ends, establishment, building, and settling. You guys are coming to the end of the journey. If you're looking for a breakthrough, the breakthrough is here. Also, time out, awareness, contemplation, solitude, time alone. I told you guys you're in sanctuary. It's not that sanctuary is my favorite word or individual happiness is my favorite uh, because I, I know we all love to be in love and in a relationship, but it is time out. It is time out because you are on a journey right now. You are on a path and you must be guided and open to do that. Sometimes being in a relationship can cloud our distortment and our judgment or distort our judgment. And so, yes, it's a time out so that you can get back to your homeland. Also understanding that your third eye and your spiritual guide, your higher self that I'm communicating with is your GPS. So if you feel lost, connect. Giving and receiving, the entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations. When you only exhale, give, or only inhale, receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe for optimal health, energy, and replenishment. Balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation. So make sure that you guys are not giving too much of yourself, again, to work and to the things that are not inspiring you, the things that are not making you, I love this card, the things that are not lighting you up, things that are not lighting you up, go for it. Your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on the situation since Genesis, which is the beginning, and we continue to watch over you and everyone involved stay on your present path as it will take you very far so you guys are on the right path even if you guys feel lost you are on the right path that's the crazy part you guys are on the right path you've chosen this deck you're on the right path and you're moving forward you're learning so if you guys chose deck number two this is your reading and what your higher self or spiritual guides future self wants to tell you guys overall this is about financial stability success your calling, your desires, what excites you, what lights you up, letting go of the burdens, creating a new reality, a new life for yourself, opening up your third eye so you can take the, the leap of faith with the full card, not being afraid to jump, allowing yourself to be guided along this journey, understanding that you're protected, a lot of trust, reconnecting with your higher self because your higher self is trying to connect with you. That's mostly what I have for you guys in this reading. Don't forget to comment down below. I'd love to get some comments back and encourage you guys also along your journey. In the meantime, thank you guys for tuning into this video. I'm going to move on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and what does your higher self or future self want to communicate or tell you? So if you chose pyramid green, this is your reading. 
All right, I guess we can start with the tarot. Or right, we'll, we'll start with this. Have confidence. Moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God, the universe, whatever you believe in, is enough along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers and we will buoy your courage and faith. What I'm getting already with a lot of these decks is that you guys are pretty disconnected from your future self or higher self for the most part. So this tells me also to have confidence, to trust, to have faith. And how do you build trust? Like I told the other decks is to build that relationship with your higher self and your future self and having confidence. How do you have confidence in someone? or some, something, it is very hard to do if you don't trust or you don't know that person. So what I'm hearing for you also, deck number three, the green pyramid, is that the more you connect with higher self and, and future self, the more confident you will be in actually believing in the plan and believing in you know how, how, how is this gonna work. We have to trust that this divine plan that we're part of is for the good and having confidence in it. Yeah, nine of cups, that's good. Nine of wands, that's over here. Completely different energy, the fool card. Release and surrender. So a lot of you have things that you need to release and surrender. I'm just the messenger here. So we shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms, and heart to our love and assistance. So being open to receiving but releasing and surrendering what is not for you. Releasing the challenges that you guys have had. Even with the Nine of Wands, this tells me that the Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. It's about stamina. You guys are tired, ready to be happy with the Nine of Cups, ready for things to turn around, wish fulfillment's coming true. When am I gonna meet that person I'm gonna settle down with and marry and, and fall in love with? When am I gonna get that right job? When is my life going to be a little bit more exciting? Things of that nature. Focus on service. Your soul desires only to joyfully serve and swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in the stream and giving and receiving in every situation and all that you do. We're getting a lot of giving and receiving messages. I'm also hearing that it's about giving to your higher self and receiving from your higher self. Yeah, this is a breakup. Some of you guys who are dealing with breakups, this is about surrendering it. So surrendering this situation because it's challenging and being open to assistance and love. Still looking into it. Nine of Pentacles. So for a lot of you, I do feel like this is a relationship situation. You are trying to manifest the one or the person for you. This card says, I manifest perfectly what I desire. This tells me that you are manifesting. However, in order to manifest completely, you must release and surrender. Still pulling messages, bear with me. The magic of the Kohalan Druin. Caution. Sacrecy and wary. Transparency, honest, authentic, genuine, and present. So this is about being honest with yourself. Being honest with yourself as far as the situation that you guys are holding on to, the challenges that you guys are holding on to. It's about being honest and authentic and being present. So some of you guys are your higher self is saying that you will have a wish fulfillment. You will have a wish come true, but it is going to take you having to release and surrender what it is that's challenging you. Even if it's your job, if it's, it's for you guys, I feel like it's love, past relationships, being tired, manifesting, but feeling like nothing is really manifesting. It's also due to you not feeling like you're guided and not trusting in, in, in your intuition, in your higher self. 
with the full card, not wanting to take a leap of faith, not wanting to surrender the situation. I'm hearing that it's time to surrender the situation. It's a caution. It's a warning. Surrender the situation or it will get, it will get worse. But what higher self is trying to get you to do is to receive the blessings in the life in the person that you want. And so unfortunately, this is what's having to happen in order for that to happen. Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Again, not being honest with yourself. Some of you guys, I'm seeing that you have friends that you are outgrowing and some of you may feel bad or some of you may be moving on from that. And also with the release and surrendering, it's coming from a place of needing to release and surrender because you are not meant to be in that same atmosphere or environment. So if you are downplaying your gifts, downplaying what it is that you want to do in order to fit in, this is also about being authentic with yourself, being authentic with the people around you. Even this relationship that you guys may be dwelling over or this past relationship, even if you guys broke up less than or more than six months ago, this is still for you because it's coming up in the current energy. Um, things not moving forward. You do want to be happy, but I also even feel like in that relationship, you are trying to fit in. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So you have a new world waiting for you and you're manifesting it, but you're afraid. What are you afraid of? Mastering. You're afraid of mastering, waiting, not taking action. Your higher self is saying, take action on the things that you want to do. Having, having confidence in the plan, understanding that you're a manifester, not waiting for things to happen, but actually doing it yourself, taking action, creating a new world, strengthening bonds. Again, I'm feeling as though there are some bonds that need to be strengthened, but this has a lot of energy around people, outside people, like family and friends. That's what I'm getting for you is to strengthen some of the bonds. Some of you have fallen out with people close to you. It's time to strengthen those bonds. I'm hearing that that could be also affecting things. It is not who you are to be in disharmony. So this is also about unity and harmony, bringing things back together. This is a part of the, ser the service that you are to do. So this service doesn't have to be a purpose or some big mission. It, it starts with your family is what I'm hearing. It starts with family and friends. Yeah. Seeking, finding new answers, mastering, joy and stability. Detach. So again, guys, I'm just the messenger and I want you to be free as you see the bird on the card. It is about detaching right now. Your higher self is asking you to detach and trust and having confidence in the divine plan that you do have somebody coming forth, um, that you are mastering things as far as even strengthening the bonds, mastering, strengthening the bonds in your family and friends and being transparent with yourself, being honest with yourself, seeking the truth. And the truth is what you're seeking today. King of Swords, I trust my ability to make a strategic decision. There, It's not just people, it's jobs that you guys are at, things that need, you need to detach from, negativity, negative energy, people who doubt you, people who don't believe in you. Take a break from them because I feel like they are um, trying to dim you, trying to dim your light, and it's time to shine. So King of Swords, also walking in your power, being a leader, well-deserved award. A lot of you guys give more than you receive too. You're learning that. Not to give so much of yourself and uh, not to give too little of yourself, but to have a balance, even with focusing on service and releasing and surrendering. As you release, you actually get. You, As you give, you give. You give to other people and you get. It's, it's, it kind of works in synchronicity because again, we're all connected. We're all one. So detaching, uh, from this person and also some codependency things, just things that you guys need to uh, detach from. Your hard work is paying off well-deserved reward. So a lot of you have been working hard on some things manifesting. If you have yet to see the results or the rewards, they are coming. The promotions, I hear it, 
the promotions are coming, the new jobs, the new opportunity, the money is coming. You are, you are manifesting. The only thing is that you're blocked. You're blocked with releasing because remember, if you have, if you're holding on to too much, how can you receive? Your hands are closed because you're holding tightly gripped onto the things that you need to release. And so with source trying to give you more, your hands are closed because you're holding on to things that you need to let go of. So your hard work is paying on. It's just been a lot harder for you to manifest with the, the environment that you're in, the people that you're around and um, the last relationship or the past relationships, even if it was a friendship. Manifesting multiple opportunities. I do feel like if this is a relationship, I do feel like they're gonna come forth with communication, apologize, or you guys will be, you'll be on good terms. So this is also about strengthening the bonds, understanding that just because you're not together or you know things happened in the past, you can still forgive them, move forward. I feel like you guys will make amends, which is great. It's good energy to make amends and strengthen bonds. Nine of Pentacles, I take the time I need to nurture myself. So it is about nurturing yourself, but the Nine of Pentacles is about luxury and abundance. So you will come into, like I said, I do see some things coming in for you guys. Um, and what I'm hearing from your higher self and your future self is even here, you're waiting on the results. So here's a relationship, a wish is coming true. You guys are tired, but we need to get you to a place of still wanting to take risks on yourself and still take leap of faith a leap of faith for yourself, trusting the journey that you're on, trusting the path that you're on. Ten of Swords, I see the truth in this ending. This is definitely a relationship or a job for some of you, or even a friendship, letting things go, not resisting the ending, seeing the truth in it, seeing that this is best for me. And that is hard, but a part of the letting go process is to accept. You guys are also learning that right now. The last card we have is the Four of Cups. I listen to my heart and I follow my knowing. So the truth, the knowing, all of this trusting um, has to do with your higher self. And so these things have been difficult for you because you have not connected as much with your higher self or your future self. And that's what I'm hearing is that decisions become easier as you trust in your higher self, trusting in the plan, having confidence in it to actually be able to be guided through your journey. Also, this is if you guys have disappointment in love, love is still gonna come around full circle for you. There's lessons that were that needed to be learned. And it's also about releasing and surrendering. Again, surrendering the end, allowing things to end. You're in a process right now where you're manifesting multiple opportunities, but you need to detach and release. Even seeking, seeking the truth, seeking God. All of these have to do with manifesting even joy and stability. Right now, you guys are on a path of creating a new world and your new world involves joy and stability. This is all about work, manifesting. Your hard work is paying off, rewards coming in. You've been waiting for results, multiple opportunities. And even with the Nine of Pentacles, this is about luxury and abundance and contentment financially. You guys are on your way to creating that is what I'm seeing. Your future self is also seeing that. Remember guys, that your future self is in the future. So your future self is looking at you in the present moment saying, you will be this. I see that you are already this. Let me guide you into being that. That's what most of our experience is about, is allowing higher self and intuition to guide us to this person that we keep seeing ourselves being. If some of you are questioning and you're like, I know I'm supposed to live in this state. I know I'm supposed to have this much money. I know I'm supposed to drive this car or be with this person or do these things. And you absolutely know it, as long as it's not infringing on other people's free will, of course, then it is because you are meant to have it. Higher self, what I'm hearing is higher self would not give you that vision if it was not for you. Remember visions, imaginations, dreams, these come from a higher portal. This is fifth dimension stuff. This is not you seeing it with your physical eyes, but seeing that car in your mind, whatever you want to say that you, wherever you want to say that you see it, this is the portal, the portal of imagination of manifestation. So you have these dreams and these visions and you know where you're supposed to be. And it's, there's a reason why you're receiving those images. It is because it is for you. And now your future self is saying, let me get you to there. Let me get you that. 
Let me get, get you the things that you deserve. If you guys are also questioning, because I even feel right now blockages from you feeling like I have to work hard to earn what I have. And that's not, your higher self is saying that's not true. You know, it's what you believe in. If you believe you have to work hard to achieve it, you're right. And so what I'm seeing here is higher self saying to master creating a new world. If your new world is joy and stability, you will have joy and stability. That's what your future self is saying. So if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading. And what does your higher self or future self have to tell you guys? And overall, I feel as though it's about letting go, detaching, releasing, so that you can create a new world. Ultimately, all of this energy is letting go of the past life that you've created for yourself and being open to create the new life that was meant for you, the life that excites you, that lights you up, that fires you up, uh, that, your des that your heart's desires, source, God, whatever you believe, wants to give that to you. But it, you have to have some confidence in the plan, having confidence in your intuition, source, whatever you believe in. So if you guys chose this deck, don't forget to comment down below so that I can get you guys some comments of encouragement back so I can also help guide you along your journey. In the meantime, I'm gonna move on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading. And what does your future self or higher self want to communicate or tell you guys? All right, so if you pick the purple pyramid, this is your reading. Assertiveness. The situation can be healed gently and with love as you've requested, yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with other people involved. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. So let's see what this is about. So already your higher self is saying you guys need to be more assertive as to dealing with things and being truthful. Also, we have the world card here. Some of you guys could have recently lost someone. If you did recently lose someone, you are going through a spiritual awakening. And I feel as though even if you didn't lose someone to death, you could have lost someone in a relationship or lost a job or dwelling or grieving on friends um, or even an old life. So some of you guys may be questioning the plan that you had for yourself and wondering why, if you're on that plan, if it's still going to happen. Some of you guys also might have dreams to travel. Uh, your higher self is saying to do that, to not be afraid to do that. Do not be stagnant and content. Also, I feel like you guys might be going around in a loop as well. So you could be living in the matrix. If you are doing the same thing every day, this could be a cycle that needs to be broken. Four of Pentacles also, you may be worried about money. Most of the time, the Four of Pentacles is greed, but this could be stability. And I feel as though you guys worry a lot about this. Page of Wands. Not sure which direction to take. Not really connected as much with your higher self as you guys could be. <clears throat> three of wands trying to move forward temperance yeah so you guys could be a Sagittarius you don't have to be or you can have it in your chart temperance is all about a spiritual connection spiritual alignment being connected and also if you feel as though your life is out of whack or out of loop this is because you're going through a spiritual journey and Higher self is also making it uncomfortable for you, purple deck, to stay in the same situation, doing the same things. Your higher self is trying to get you to get out of that comfort zone and to move forward. Fresh air. Your body needs refreshment from oxygenated air generated by gas, grass, trees, plants, and flowers. Spend time outside today as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. Open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well. So fresh air and the ocean, yes. So I do sense that some of you may need some healing is what your higher self is saying. Now with the ocean, this tells me that the deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself will heal wounds and bring desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean, allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. So if you guys don't live by the water, we have the world card here. It might be initiating some travel to be by a water, to be on an island, to be connected. Also, if you are feeling out of alignment or disconnected, what I'm hearing source say or your higher self say is to make sure that you guys are connected to nature because nature is also a part of the universe. So your spiritual self is highly 
suggesting that you spend more time in nature to ground yourself. It's more of like a grounding that needs to take place. Lumeria, creating heaven on earth. It's happening. Wow, that's amazing. So you guys are creating a new life for yourself. And it's almost, I also feel like what Source is telling me is that you have some limiting beliefs as to creating heaven on earth. Let's see what that is. Daydreams and decisions. So you have dreams, you know where you want to be, heaven on earth. Again, we have water. Look at this card. Some of you guys are dreaming about water, fountains, nature, Hawaii, Bora Bora, Bali, you know, so, some of the places, any place by water, really. Those are a few that I hear. Travel, get there, figure it out. Also, it's like you guys are dreaming about things, but you don't know how to manifest it. So your guys' struggle, like what I'm seeing higher self show me is you have these dreams, you have these visions, but you don't know how to you don't know how to decide to make the right decision for you to actually do it here on earth. You're worried about stability. You're worried about how to do it. You're not sure which way to go. Um, you are curious, but you're afraid to take the leap again with a lot of these decks that I'm getting with you guys is fear. You have a lot of fear holding you back. But what I'm seeing is that this heaven, this dream, this vision, these ideas or desires that you guys have, have been given to you from higher self for a reason to inspire you, to move you in a direction that will make you happy. And so if they were given to you, again, from a fifth dimension, which is imagination, you know, it's a higher dimension. It's not physically that you're able to see these visions with your eyes, but spiritually you are. This is about making the right decisions to live the life that you want to live. Balance, spirituality, and practica. That's exactly what I was saying. Uh, balance spirituality and practicality a lot a lot of people are struggling with this right now this is full moon in Pisces you could be a Pisces what I'm getting is that we're having trouble balancing seeing things right some of us are like I see a hundred thousand in my account but then I look and it's not there that's practically it's not there physically but spiritually, you know that you're supposed to have these investments have this house live this dream and what it is, is that it is there, but it's about manifesting it spiritually. So somehow we have to have a balance so that we're not too dreamy where we're like, I'm just dreaming all day and I'm not doing anything like with the daydreams and these visions and even this love that you have. You know, some of you guys are dreaming about this person you're supposed to be with, but you're staying inside the house. Like I told you guys, you guys have to get outside the house. You have to meet people, get out there, be open, be receptive to new love and meeting this person. How else are you going to meet them? So what this is telling me is that you guys have so many dreams and ambition, but you don't know how to make it practical. You don't know how to take what you see in the dreams and the desires, even of traveling heaven on earth. You guys have high, a high level of appetite in life. You don't want to settle for less, but you also want to be stable. So this is about joy and stability and then having the curiosity to do these things, but balancing it as well. So you guys are learning how to do that and your higher self will teach you that. Get grounded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get grounded. Impasse. Highly sensitive. Connect with nature. Okay. So you guys are in pass. You're freaking out. I could feel it. You're freaking out spiritually. Your life may not be exactly what it appears to be. You had this vision. You have this plan. You know where you're supposed to be, right? It's like the greatest people that we know to do things so well, gifted. Michael Jordan, the, um, the person that wrote Harry Potter. Everyone says that my setup looks like it, but I never read it or never even seen the movie. Um, and I forgot the author, but these people, these great people, Steve Jobs and Einstein, all the greats that had these visions, even the person or the people like Steven Spielberg, or these creators that have these dreams and they create it into reality, right? We see these movies, but before th they were just ideas that people had and they sat together and they're like, I have this idea, I want it to look like this. And then they create it, it's like they're painting a reality. And then we go and we watch the movie. This is also what you guys are dealing with is that you guys have to somehow, this is what your higher self is saying, still stay grounded, 
but being connected spiritually. And so in order to ground or if you see feel yourself floating or not being realistic or spiritually out of tune, get grounded, connect with nature. So it all starts with an idea that has been given to you from higher self or future self. And then you have the inspiration to make it happen. So all of the greats that I mentioned had these ideas, wanted to manifest it physically so that we can enjoy what it was that they were seeing in their imagination. Um, so even with these great movies like Hunger Games and Avatar, someone sat there, people sat there and created this and then manifested it physically. And so that's what you guys are learning how to do is how to bring things from a spiritual world and manifest into the practical physical world. All right, enough life coaching. Seek the truth. So yes, you guys are on a mission to seek the truth. As you seek the truth, you will also understand that the truth is who you are. You're seeking yourself. Energy field adjusted. So yeah, you guys are impasse. Highly sensitive to energy. If you have not lost the person, remember when I first started this reading, I said, if you guys have lost someone or grieving over a loss, you guys may have not lost someone, but because you're impasse, if you're around someone that lost someone, or if someone really great died, you would feel that. You would feel the shift of energy because you guys are highly intuitive and empathic. So if things, if you wake up one day and you're feeling sad or you're feeling depressed, sometimes it's the energy that you're picking up around you. So that's also what I'm getting with this card of energy field adjustment or cleansing and health. So yes, you guys are dealing with energy, lots of energy. So in order to keep up with this energy, you must stay grounded. That's, that's all of this energy. You guys is seriously, all of this energy, you guys is seriously heavy. So you guys could be very gifted. Well, you are very gifted. And so if you're dealing with things in the spiritual realm, like this, this reading would be for light workers, for other YouTubers who also do readings, um, for people who do healing or energy work, or you may not even be aware of the gifts that you do have. You are dealing with so much energy. So again, it's about staying grounded, staying in nature, keeping your, your mind sound. Four of swords. It is time to rediscover your vitality. So we have four swords twice. So yes, you guys may be dealing with trying to find mental clarity and mental grounding. And so if you're overanalyzing things, anxiety, those things, that's because you're out of alignment and you need to be grounded. And so that's what source is saying. The age of light, you've been training for this for lifetimes. Wow, you guys are workers. You guys are light workers. Welcome, my fellow light workers to the planet. Welcome to this great work that we do. We're all connected, seriously. Some don't, mm, man, I have so many messages for you guys. Thank you for tuning in. But I feel though a lot, like I've been getting a lot of downloads from higher self and future self of saying that a lot of you are afraid of your gifts. So some of you guys might be getting dreams or visions or seeing things, or some people feel like you're unrealistic or not practical. And you're just like, no, I know I'm supposed to have this house. I know I'm supposed to travel, help a lot of people and do this work. Or maybe you've not have come to that place, but very spiritual person. If you're not, you're getting ready. Your life is getting ready to change and welcome to the light worker crew. You are a part of the light worker tribe. I can feel it heavily. And so what this is telling me is that with, the higher self communication, a lot of you are afraid of your gifts, afraid of this because it is very powerful. It can be scary receiving messages or traveling. Um, I've received messages lately from people who have discovered that they're messengers, they're traveling in people's dreams. People are calling them like, Hey, you showed up in my dream. What are you doing? And you know, so this is a gift. And so you guys could be travelers, messengers. And what I'm hearing so heavily for you guys is do not be afraid of your gifts. Do not be afraid of them. The more open you are with receiving communication from higher self and future self, the more connected and grounded and gifted you will be. And it's the same thing with me. I'm just very open to spirit coming in. And if you guys have limiting beliefs and fears and doubts that that will block. And so you're seeking the truth. You guys are, you guys could either be on the brink of discovering that your life workers seeking the truth, or you guys could have already discovered this. You guys have been training for a lifetimes, for this lifetime. That's insane. You've been training for this for your lifetime. 
You guys are heavily gifted. Do not be afraid of your gifts. The Empress, yeah, you're here to create. I create what I choose naturally and with joy. You're also here to create heaven on earth. It's always been a purpose of mine to want to create heaven on earth. It's always been something so dear to my heart to create heaven on earth because it's ultimate bliss and ultimate freedom. You guys are part of that. You're a part of bringing heaven to earth. You have such a big purpose. I might have to go over time because this is so much. This is so incredible that you guys have. And if you haven't unlocked it, I'm glad that you guys are on this reading to hear this message because you are knocking at the door. So gifted to create. Six of Cups, I remember and treasure past happiness. So you guys have some past things also that you need to let go of, past beliefs. Again, you have a new life. This is You're getting ready to create a new life. And I, have, I see that heavily. I am naturally creative. Create, 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 creating heaven creating what you choose, naturally creating. Create, that's a huge word. So pin that word in your guys' room and see it every day. Ace of Swords, I am ready for breakthrough to success. You guys are on your way to success and your purpose. King of Pentacles, I am sure of my place in the world. You'll be very prosperous, you're a leader. You have a king, you're a king, you're a queen, Either way, whether you're feminine or masculine energy, you are here to create and be a leader. Also, you and your loved ones are safe. It's time to take action. If you guys are afraid of any fear, you know, some people will not understand the work that you do and the mission that you're here to create. Don't find offense in that. I feel like it's time to take action towards this heavily as well. Like I said, you guys do have a gift and understanding that you're safe. This comes from a place of protection, knowing that you're protected by your guides to do this. And then last we have release, find balance. Again, find balance in this release and clarity of belief. So right now you guys are on a mission of learning and getting clarity for the beliefs that you do have. And so I'm hearing a lot of making sure you're unlearning what it is that you've learned in order to learn what you feel is the truth not what everyone else feels is the, tr is the truth or what you've been you know some programmed you know as children we have beliefs it's not sometimes it's not intentional but we have beliefs that are adopted from parents and parents and parents and parents and then you know next thing you know we believe this and we don't know why so you guys are on a journey of discovering truth and discovering you Remember, you are the truth. And so you're releasing things that do not serve you and releasing fears and doubts that also do not serve you and getting clarity of belief. So overall, your messages are to stay grounded, keep that balance of spirituality, practicality. You guys are going to be very prosperous. You're on your mission to create heaven on earth. It's happening right now. If not, it is going to happen. You guys are at the door of it. Releasing doubts, releasing all of this heavy burden energy of doubts, limitations, and fears. And for the most part, you guys are adjusting your energy. So remember to stay grounded, especially in this work that you guys do. You're gonna be very successful and being assertive. So if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading in. What does your future self or higher self want to tell you guys? Don't forget to comment down below. I'd love to get some encouraging messages back to you guys to also help and guide you guys along your journey. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this pick a card reading. I hope that it gave you clarity and guidance throughout your journey. In the meantime, I will see you guys soon.